Being a young adult, this is a very confusing time of life of trying to figure out what are my strengths? What are my gifts? What is God calling me to do? And just so many questions. What if somebody asks me something and I don't know the answer? What if somebody's saying they're struggling and I don't know what to say? How does God see me? How does God see other people? How do I fit into this picture? Oh, is this really for me? How can we make them feel like they belong? How can we love on them? Am I saying yes because it's people pressuring me to do it? Or am I saying yes because God has called me to this position to serve? Who is God and what does he say? How can I be a difference maker? Coming here, I kind of just wanted to stay in my lane. Come into class, go home after class, and not really be involved. That started changing as I got into men's corral, and then really getting to know the professors and the staff here. When I step into an APU classroom, I feel like my professor is overjoyed to have me there to learn and to share their experience with me. The intense amount of patience focus on not only your learning about the subject, but how it connects to God's needs in the community. The people here have challenged me and encouraged me to actually read God's Word. As a swimmer, we have weekly Bible studies, and so together we're growing as athletes, but we're also growing as Christians. The professors, they just amplify that, portraying this message of hospitality, giving that confidence that you belong in this program, in this school, and in this field. I've been able to build up my skills and my knowledge and my abilities in order to become the lead of the research team. And in that leadership position, I've been able to mentor a number of new students who now mentor incoming students. I got involved with CSA my freshman year. I went to Mexico, went on action team to the Philippines, studied abroad in South Africa, led a trip to Selma, Alabama, and then I'm leading a team to Spain. It's allowed my learning to be more than just singular. It's a part of the way that I see the world and the way that I interact with people. As SGA, we've gone into really <laughs> care for different kinds of students, and advocating for disabilities, advocating for undocumented students. This year taught me that I'm just here to amplify voices because all these students have a voice, and I'm just there to walk with them and cheer them on. I get to come here and God gets to use this space and my experience here in ways that I never would have expected. Seeing fellow students and professors that care about me and love me, belonging is not because of what I do, but it's because of the people that I'm with. It's more than just being a student in a classroom or in a building. You are, but you're also part of a family. It's not just preaching the words of love, but actually like being that and acting out those words, really loving people around you. I can look like standing by people and crying with them, being in silence and standing up when you need to stand up. When they reach out to you and when they're comforting you, it is in those moments that you feel the most belonging and you feel this has been and, and will continue to be the best place for college that I could have gone because that sense of belonging is continuous. It doesn't just exist in the happy times, it exists in the sad times. The very special part of APU is our community because our community is willing to sit down with anyone and everyone to really understand who they are and where they come from. And I think that's really hard to find in this world. As I become an empathy, I do want to adopt that posture as a therapist, showing the humility of Christ to those who I'm leading or to those I'm serving. And really develop just the sense of compassion and empathy. And those are things that I hope to extend in my physician-patient relationships. It's just beautiful of how music can reach so many barriers. You can just reach right over and just touch a person through that. And I've discovered that through here. They turn me into a Christian leader, the type of leader that I needed to be to go into the workforce. Not only do I have an understanding of what it means to be in a Christian community, but I know how to associate with people that don't understand that faith basis. And I'll know how to do it with peace and understanding and compassion and mercy. Being a disciple does not just mean hanging out with Christians all the time. It means going into those spaces where you might not feel comfortable and seeing God's work and glory even in those moments. Our time at APU is so short. It's just a little blip and we're gonna go out into the world and people are gonna see Jesus' light through us. And so just hearing those comments of they see something different in us, that's encouraging to me knowing that the work that we are doing here at APU is to bring God honor and glory and it is. And I think it'll continue for many years to come.